actually S I X. I've always known what was going to happen next. So love was a bit disappointing. Hers was a specific kind of fortune telling. She knew how to get to the end of men. Oh, Niggy. Oh, hello. I live downstairs. Nicola? Sorry, I was just changing. Falling in love normally ends very badly with me. I feel pretty good about my writing. I'm worried the critics are going to call you a male fantasy figure. Oh, got it. Likes to be watched. I love to be watched. I'm sorry, I was just being jealous. I look what she's done to me! You know, I'm going to kill you, don't you? Shall we say eight? Your Majesty, may I present to you the greatest detective of all time, Sherlock Holmes, and Dr. John Watson. I love you. Watson? Oh! Whew, what a looker, right? She is stunning. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. His methods are ingenious. Right there. He's a master of disguise. What have you done with Sherlock? Why, Watson? I never left. Oh, amazing. And his mind is brilliant. Angle of approach. Compensate for warp and floor. Termination of mosquito. Well done, Holmes. Oh, my God! Watson, stop panicking! in Buckingham Palace. Solve this case in four days or I will kill the Queen. Signed, Professor James Moriarty. Come, Watson. We have a killer to catch. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Shall we begin the autopsy? Dr. Grace Hart. A woman doctor? <laughs> Impossible. Fortunately, we have a real doctor here. Would you like some heroin? Days left to live. Solve this case. Her Majesty, would you mind if we had a picture together? Watson, who's going to take the photograph? I will take it. You see, it's sort of a self photograph. He's a real fan. I swear, I never do this. Hey, girl! Hey, girl! Over by the window, the lighting's much better. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Mother of shit! People don't just disappear.
Good morning, wife. Good morning, husband. Don't ask me. This is great. Look out your window. What you know is true. I'm taking you away for the weekend. I just can't believe this is my life that I get to live with you. Oh, I love your precious heart. It meant nothing to me before you. Anna Gray's office. We wanted to welcome the new fiction editor. We could live. I bought it for us. I should have asked you first. For a years. I love it. Oh my god. Christian. This is Jim Mateo, the architect. This location is perfect. I'm going to build you a fabulous house. Please stop speaking to my husband as if I weren't here. Anna. <laughs> you may call me Mrs. Gray. I'll pick you up a five. I might not be done by then. We're being followed. Jack, what do you want? So you want to play? Yes, sir. I made a vow to love you faithfully, forsaking all others. Did you sleep with her? To comfort you in times of need, and to keep you safe for as long as we both shall live. the trigger, the strength's the nail, and whack it in one so hit. So what you're telling me is goodbye conventional hammer? Goodbye conventional life! Hello, Hello nail hammer! Whoa! Ah! Ran out of gas. You only ever get a little bit of gas at a time. Hey, you noticed, huh? I, I like to come by and see you. I like seeing you as well. I was hoping to save up to take you to dinner someplace nice. I would love that. Get whatever you want, by the way. This one's on me. I've been thinking about this ever since I first got gas at your place. You must be so excited about all your shows. So you mean to tell me with no money down, I can buy a house. No pennies on the dollar. What's <laughs> the problem, though? Do you know about the Stillerman TV show? It's the Jamie Stillerman Show. We keep seeing this guy. And this guy's everywhere. Who, who is the We need to know who this man is, and we need him on this show. I'm sorry about all these cheap dates. All this TV stuff going on, I'm just a little out of it. Wait, you know the clapper? Yeah. But I'm gonna bounce back. What is that? Your head is about to explode. That's my head. You can take that off. What right? about the computer? Somebody's making money off of that. And it ain't us. I should charge you like five bucks right now just for watching that. Rod, Rod, hold up a second. We're from the Jamie Silver Show. Do you recognize this man right here? Who's off? Do you know the clapper? <gasps> Judy! Some people came by tonight asking all kinds of questions. They had a photograph of you. Are you, you in trouble? No, I'm not in trouble. I like you, Eddie. I really do want to, but I need my job. Like, I need my job. How'd you get this number? Tonight is a night we want you to be on the show. I'm not comfortable being on television or anywhere. It's stop harassing my girl. Where's Judy? Hey! Things got out of control, and I didn't know how to handle it. Oh, ah! I'm the clapper. It's great to finally meet you. I mean, you want to make a big joke out of me, go ahead. I just lost the only person that mattered to this whole thing. I can't tell you how nice this is. Good things could come out of this. Wow, what? Um, wait, can I do it again? Don't look at me, look at the camera. Okay. You're looking at me, don't look at me. I know I'm talking to you, but don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at the camera. You're looking at me again. Tell you something. New York is the greatest city in the world, my city. I was a kid in these streets, and I made it to the top. I made my bones doing a piece of work for Don Carlo Gambino. Like that, I became a made man. Brad, I'm thinking maybe take a year off. <laughs> you want to hang out with me? <laughs> Do you know what?
what you're doing to this family. I will build something that nobody can destroy. Salute. Paul Castellano was a fish in the desert. I never respected Paul. You killed the boss's boss. You will bring down hellfire. There is no choice. Support of all five boroughs Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Staten Island, the Bronx. Our job now is to maintain leadership. I nominate John Gotti. To the new boss! Oh. I'm so proud of you. You should be running your own crew now. Mr. Gotti, are you the head of the Gambino crime family? The head of my family. Mrs. Gotti, do you know what your husband does for a living? He provides. John's getting too much press. That can't go unchecked. It was meant for you. We've never been under this kind of scrutiny before. What were you saying on the tapes? I said a lot of things that could get a lot of people in trouble. Dad, say the word, I'll go for a cliff for you. You swore to me that you would not bring him into that world. This life of ours is a wonderful life if you can get away with it. Johnson has been an informant for the FBI. It's a bad lie! Order. As a father, the idea of you being in prison made me sick. Never back off, ever. Let everybody. You're not robbing the Bloxley anymore. You're Robin Hood. You were a lord, but now you get to be a thief. I'm going to show you how. Shoot me. Ah, please. You have to be a warrior. Fast as you can. Fast as you can. Uh, what are you doing to my coat? Okay. When do I actually get to, you know, steal? Of a thief. I'm the law and order here. Any talk of the thief, bring it to me. One thing keeps him in power the money. We steal it. I want to hit the treasury itself. Set up a meeting. Everyone is with us. This is our shot. Here's the plan. This is an inside job. You are a lord. Get close with the sheriff. Who do you think the thief is? Clearly he's well trained. Adaptable under fire. You'll get him eventually. Our plan is working. Now we see who bites. Oh! I'll remind them they're not the people, they're my subjects. This is suicide. Can't you see what you're doing? You inspire the people. A thousand pounds for the man who brings me on! We're all suspects now. If we get caught, they will kill us all. Really inspiring. Thanks. You're not robbing a Bloxley anymore. Robin Hood.